To my love on our wedding day, where to begin? It feels like just yesterday that we were having. You gotta do a start reading. It seems like just yesterday we were having our movie nights and talking for hours on the phone or internet. It's amazing to think we have really come from the days when we were playing 20 questions to get to know each other one day. Today, the most special day, the one that begins our lives as us and opens the next chapter in our story. the presence of God, give thanks for the gift of marriage, and to witness the joining of Anna Pepperone and David Kersel. I can't believe our wedding day is here. Time sure is flown. I can't believe it has been nine years since we first met, seven years since you grabbed my butt towel, and more than six years since we have been together. The day that I proposed, proposed to you is still one of the days that I like to relive. One of our perfect walks on campus, just you and me. Little did I know that I was deciding on forever. Every day and every step of the way, our love has grown and will continue to grow. It's like wildfire. And as we take this step in our journey, I want you to know that each moment that we have shared in the past or will share in the future, whether good or bad, is something I could only imagine sharing with you. David's father and my good friend Dick, who passed away 16 months ago. And he would have been so proud to have been here with you today, David. And Anna, you know that Dick loved you and was looking forward to having you as a daughter. And I'm sure that, though unseen, Dick is looking on today and surrounding you both with his love. proven your love to me over and over again and I will spend the rest of my life doing the same. I want you to know that I could never have made it through the loss of my dad without you and I'm so glad that you were able to get to know him and the he was. He always loved you so much and he would have loved to be here today to share this day with us. Seeing you bond with him will always be something I will cherish and hold dear to my heart. It gives me great comfort knowing this, and although he can't be here today, he will be with you and us every step of the way. Things, it's one of the last things my dad ever said to me that was, that was a sentimental thing. And it was when we came up to visit you two for Christmas, um, and it was, it was last winter. And he said, I really love how much Anna cares about you and how much and how good she treats you. And that, that, that means so much to me and I'll never forget that. The fact is that love is a force that is more formidable than any other. It takes an immense act of courage to love someone, to make yourself vulnerable by caring for someone so much that they can hurt you like nobody else can. I dare say that the essence of marital love, however, is not romance, but grace and forgiveness. 
forward to or to look up to in that aspect. And it's hard to say that I look up to my younger sister because I would hope that she looks up to me, but <laughs> I totally look up to her. She is my role model, the one I look up to for anything. Have a good marriage, take care of each other. Even if it's rough, just fight through it and get you'll make it all the way. And Anna is you're one of the sweetest people I've ever met in my entire life. I've never met somebody who is, is more genuine about how sweet they are and how nice they are. Um, you, you care about people and it comes from your heart. I can't wait to do all those wonderful things with you. Is Frankie around here? <laughs> with that said, we need to set some rules. One, never never go to bed angry. Two, always support one, one another. Three, make one another laugh. Four, love each other always. I'll never forget how much you supported David and how much you supported our family and how much you really were there for all of us through that. And that's when I really realized that you are part of our family. But that, is, that was when you really became our family. And I'll never forget that. I, 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 I will always remember how much you were there for us. And right now, I'm going to officially welcome you to the family. You are now a curse off. <laughs> <laughs> I love you and I can't wait to see you tomorrow at the end of the aisle. I will be the one looking gorgeous and white.
Anna, will you have David to be your husband to live together in holy marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? <coughs> David, will you have Anna to be your wife to live together in holy marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? And then I want to say a couple words to my father who unfortunately can't be with us today. But I know for a fact that he's been here with us in spirit all day long. I want to thank you for showing me what it means to be a good man and a husband. And I will strive every day to do so myself. And I hope that every bit of, I can be every bit of a father and man you were. Anna and I miss you greatly and we know that you will be with us throughout this entire journey. Congratulations! Congratulations. 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 Congratulations.